American tree sparrows are one of the handsomer sparrows out there, and also have some interesting qualities, at least as far as sparrows go. For one, they're one of the hardier ones, adapted to very cold temperatures, and are often found overwintering in southern Canada. In addition, they're divided into two distinct subspecies, like many birds that breed across the area separated by the Rocky Mountains. Unlike many of these subspecies, those two subspecies of American tree sparrows look basically the same. They do, however, have a very prominent size differential between them. One subspecies is about 10% larger than the other, but on migration in their non-breeding territory they overlap quite substantially. So how is it that they're able to remain subspecies? Well, that's simply because their separation is only on their breeding range. And since that's when they're breeding, that's the only place you really need a separation. However, for banders, they're also one of the more bittersweet birds to see. Because of the fact that they breed in the high boreal and arctic, American tree sparrows are the last songbird to pass through on migration. When you start catching these birds in large numbers, the season is all but over. But man oh man, what a season we had here. We hit 70 species captured, something that we didn't even think was achievable about a month ago. We're hovering at just under 3,000 captures just for this three month season, which is nuts for this kind of station. There's been a lot of stuff passing through, a lot of great highlights, and a lot of things that I just didn't get a chance to talk about, either because I didn't have time or we were swamped with other birds at the time. But for the moment, that's about all I have to say about this bird in particular. See ya, bud. Have a good flight. And that brings me to something a little bit more bittersweet. This will be my last video produced with BBO. At the time of posting, I'll be striking out on my own, heading back to my home province of Ontario, and figuring out what it is that comes next. These last couple years have been a blast, and I'm so glad to have been part of the work that this observatory does. But however much I hate to leave all this behind, it's feeling like it's time. It's time to move on.